Welcome everyone. The concept that we want to speak about today is the whole idea of acceptance and the power of acceptance and what it can do if someone can master this trait because we know that acceptance is not a difficult thing to be able to do or to be able to harness. If someone can master the power or the talent, even the talent of acceptance, they can create amazing openings in their life. And I want to explain from a Kabbalistic point of view what acceptance is and what it really means. You know, there's a story of two great Kabbalists and they were going for a, a walk and eventually they wanted a place to sleep. Imagine this is thousands of years ago. So they found a cave and they went inside this cave and they, and they went to sleep on the floor of the cave. Eventually they were woken up by a spirit. Now this spirit was a soul that had left this world that was kind of in between worlds. Like if you've ever seen the movie Ghost, where the soul is kind of like in a limbo, that's what this spirit was there. And the spirit says, what are you doing in my cave? And the two Kabbalists said, you know, we're just looking for a place to sleep. What's your story? And the spirit says, this is my story. I was a very spiritual man. I am a very spiritual man. And, and one day I was with my son and some robbers came and they took my life and they kidnapped my son. And since I died, I was supposed to go to the Garden of Eden, but I decided, but they wouldn't let me into the Garden of Eden. They wouldn't let me in because all day long I was in constant torture about the state of my son. The fact that he was taken, the fact that he's in pain, the fact that he doesn't know what's going to happen to him, and the fact that I knew what they were doing to him. And I was in constant torture, constant pain. So I wasn't accepted into the Garden of Eden. And as a result, I'm just laying in limbo in this world, trying to figure out how to help him, how to rescue him as just a plain spirit. And the two Kabbalists look at him and said, let me teach you a lesson. Let me share with you something. The only way you will be able to help your son is if you get to the place of the Garden of Eden. Because from there, you have so much connection to miracles and wonders, you can transform the state of your son. But the reason why they won't let you into the Garden of Eden is because of your sadness, is because of your disagreement with what happened, is because in your mind you feel like you're a victim of circumstance. And because you have this victim consciousness, you don't have the affinity with the Garden of Eden. You don't have a connection with the Garden of Eden. That's why the angels will not let you into the Garden of Eden. If you reach the place that even though it's painful, even though it's the worst thing in the world to watch your son go through this, but if you got to a place of complete acceptance, agreement with the Creator, that whatever the Creator is doing is perfect, that there's a master plan, that there's a process that the son needs to go through, and a process that you need to go through, if you can reach this place of acceptance, then you will elevate to the level of the Garden of Eden and then from there, with the power of the miracles and wonders that exist, you can rescue your son. It's a beautiful story and the story has a lot of practical understanding in our lives today. What is acceptance? Acceptance isn't just, you know, oh, I know it's for the good, or, oh, the grass is greener. This is all morals and ethics. Kabbalah speaks about a technology that the light of the Creator is revealed in our life. And when that light is revealed, no darkness can stand in its way. No sadness can stand in its way. No pain, no suffering. Anything that you need to happen in your life will happen once that light comes in. Acceptance is simply getting myself to a place I'm no longer a victim. And if I'm not a victim, then I'm the cause, then I'm the initiator, then I'm the Creator. And as a result, the light can come into my life. As long as I'm a victim, even if I'm a good guy, I'm a spiritual guy, I'm Moses, I'm the highest spiritual man, doesn't matter. Because as long as I'm a victim and I am disagreeing with what's happening, I'm disagreeing with God, I'm disagreeing with myself, I don't accept what's happening, I don't have affinity with the light of the Creator. And as a result, the light of the Creator can come into my life. The only thing that can remove darkness is the light of the Creator. The question is, what am I doing to connect myself, to plug myself in to that infinite light that can remove darkness at any moment, at every second? And amazing miracles will come out of nowhere. Don't try to plan it logically. It's not a logical thing. When I accept, when I believe and I tell myself, yes, 
I know it's for the good. I know the Creator. I agree with the Creator. I agree that the Creator has a big picture. I agree that the Creator wants the ultimate good, and even though I don't see it at the moment, that's not the Creator's problem, that's my problem, because I'm limited. Through acceptance, I become unlimited. But I don't know what to do still. How can I accept? First step is acceptance. Yes, it's for the good. Once I accept, once I'm truly at peace with what's happening, then I can take the initial steps to change the circumstance. Because like the Spirit told us, like that sage that left the world told us, or like the Kabbalist shared with the sage, once you accept, you'll be accepted into the Garden of Eden, which is code for, once I learn to stop being a victim and stop blaming and start agreeing with everything that's happening, at that moment, I'm accepted into the Garden of Eden, which means I'm connected to the light of the Creator, which means that at that moment, I can change the reality with that light. We cannot just change reality with our words or our brain or our logic. We cannot. We need a higher force, and that higher force doesn't just come from prayer or religiosity. That higher force comes only through restriction, transformation. In this case, acceptance. Acceptance is difficult when we're in painful times. And even as we see the world today going through painful times, yes, we want to help. Yes, we want it to be different. Yes, we want the suffering to stop. The first step is acceptance. There is a bigger picture. I don't see what the bigger picture is. The world is not random. I accept what's happening. After I accept the pain, then I can take my initial steps with the support of the light of the Creator to make a difference. In your life this week, every time something happens to you that you don't agree with it, say stop. One second. Let me agree. I want to agree. There is a greater good here, and because I don't see it, doesn't mean it doesn't exist. And if I can feel at peace with it, then I'm connected, and then watch great things happen. Don't react too quick. First, accept.